well met. North of Amalus. Right, so this should be where we get access to orcs, otherwise we'd get no access to orcs. There we go. I'm guessing a dire wolf will suffice against these. Or not. They're fairly good attackers, if not anything special. Yeah, typical summoned creature will not have the armor class able to dodge that crap. Typical equipment, magical arrows, or high extra damage arrows. It's not like these are badly equipped either. Should help a little bit. Alright, standard or groups is something we can probably handle. Problem is gonna be the boss. I doubt he's gonna be quite so easy to kill. Well, measly groups of orcs. Ooh. Deeper into the forest. This is a bit more complicated situation than attacking some haphazard or camp is one thing. Going against the fortifications quite a bit different. Should have gotten some decent spells this time. Mm -hmm. Direwolf is not particularly useful anymore. Normal infestation of maggots. Mm -hmm. 
6th level. Okay, this is something we're seeing interesting things. Greater Stone Scheme is nice, but definitely not mandatory. Healing Circles, probably shit. Summon a Dire Tiger. I think we're gonna take this no matter what, because this is gonna be superior to the bear. Then what? Inferno might be worthwhile. It, this is the spell that just does damage. Ignite someone on fire and it does 2d6 points of damage per level uh, over a long period of time. There's not much you can do about it. But something like this would have been great when we were basically fighting against a war machine, for example. Just extra damage in a situation that isn't going anywhere on its own. And one dire tiger. Right. Excellent. Lots of orcs. Lots of orcs, shamans, archers. You do Step not go me. there. Come on. Follow along. I don't think frontal assault is gonna be our style. Not sure what else we can do. Shadows take you! Come on! Follow along! See, there would be a way to pass them. To your weapon, and don't let up. Step with me. Come on, follow along. Let's see an easy way in. Maybe we could come from the river itself. I don't see how that's possible. We'll leave it for now. That seems like a larger fight that I want to commit to now. We need to deliver our package. It's a proper town town. Buccaneer Inn. Say lore. Tower. Seems like a destroyed tower though. We were supposed to deliver something to a tower. Not sure if they referred to this tower.
It's this tower. Welcome. Good day to you, sir. I'm Oberon. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, this is the tower sorcery, right? Uh, so at least it will be if it's ever completed. What happened? Some damn fool started a war and took away all the money earmarked for the construction of this place. <laughs> I see. Uh, do you sell anything here? Not really. All of this junk is stored here simply because they run out of room up north. But if you like, I could crack open a crate and sell you some wizard scrolls and other items. You can also identify items for you. And I can recharge some magic items too. One has to make a living somehow. Uh, I was paid to deliver this package to you from the tower in Fairlock. What? More junk? Oh, this is getting beyond that joke. What's the problem? Well, take a look around you. See a lot of space? Those fools at Fairlock seem to think there's unlimited space here, damn it. Oh, I see. Uh, look, the package isn't exactly huge. You could probably cram it into that chest over there or something. <clears throat> well, yes, you're right. It's not that big. I thought you'd brought another crate with you or some such. Uh, forgive my little outburst. I'm not known for my patient, patient attitude, I'm afraid. Quite alright. I was promised 300 gold for this, by the way. And possibly a little something extra. 300 gold is not a problem, but I don't really have anything else that would be useful to you. Unless... Unless what? I have here a genuine treasure map. Had I not been assigned to watch over the tower side here, I would make use of it myself. I'll give it to you, if you like. Buried treasure? Sounds interesting. Sure, hand it over, too. Here you are. It seems to lead into the Stone Guard Mountains, where there is some sort of a hidden cave. I wish you good luck in finding it. Stop by and tell me about it sometime, too. I'd be happy to see you around, Oberon. Um, who was offering me supplies? Recharge magic item? Uh, is that little dragon you're familiar? Yes, he is. His name is Ignatius, and he's a rare albino pseudo dragon. Cute, isn't he? Anything else? Uh, sure. Trade. I'd also like to know how the recharge thing works. Very mage sorcerer specific stuff. Uh, Wand of Ice Storm. Can use as for level nine Ice Storm. It's not that bad. We have, I mean, we have the uh, Fireball item too. Ice Storm is something we can cast. It's a Druid spell too. But in a desperate situation. This would not be our go-to items. This would be we're in deep shit. We're sort of running out of spells, um, and but we need to burst out more damage somehow. So let's rely on these uh, stat wands and uh, amulets to dish out that extra damage. That's the plan. So. Well, it's 14,580 now. I do need to identify things. The Predator was identified. Hide of the Grizzly and Hasted Boots of Agility. Right. Have the incomplete armor too. Plus three attack bonus, plus four mighty, massive critical, spawn speed, woodland strike.
It's a good bow. Bad I'm not a bow user. Solid leather armor plus three. Yeah, plus two strength. That would be better than what I have. Plus three spell resistance. That's nothing trivial. Uh, so not, neither is some extra strength, though. We are relying quite a lot of our killing is reliant on the physical damage we do. An extra carry weight is always nice. Hmm, I feel against competent spellcaster. We're gonna need more spell resistance anyway. I mean, they're. I, I'm not sure how it works. They do get their level added to their throw. So, spell resistance 14 isn't gonna mean too much. Still, it's better than nothing. Still, this is more or less the same armor. Different approach. 2, 6, 3, 4. It is better. The strength boost is welcome too. Build of agility. Freedom plus 2 dexterity. That is fantastic. Freedom is a far powerful ability. One of our guys is certainly missing a belt. Sass is shimmering, please. Not a bad item for the barbarian anyway. Armor bones plus two dodge. Use haste level ten one per day once per day. Uh, well, it's better than the current boots I have. Right. Need to switch to ring. Well, now let's do something yo. Start planning on buying something. Yeah, this. Still 14,000. Should be able to get rid of a lot of crap thanks to this. I can certainly get my money back. Well, I think I can get my money back. 10,000 for the Predator. We could, with a bow like this, we could do a ranged combat section with the orcs inside the fortress. I'm not selling that away. At least not yet. Incomplete armor, just go away. I'm sick of carrying you around. Right, we more or less got our money back. Most the barbarian would be the best user for the bow. He does not have range capability at all. I'm sure she's capable of that. I'm not even sure, well, it looks like some kind of a ex exchange like that would be in our best interest. Alternately, we'll have to break our way through, but even then, there's gonna be people on the... Uh, 
uh, walls there that can uh, fire spells and uh, great, uh, projectiles that as well. We fight the probably numerous defenders inside the key. So I, I, I don't see that as a fairly good way to burst through. Right, we'll just go range. And that should do it. What can I can do? I have a sling. Sling plus zero. Foolish spy sling. Right. Mission accomplished. Can I rest here? Nope. Could you get the fuck out of the way? Finish looking around the city, see what locations they have here. But I think I do want to tackle the old port first. Sort of unfinished business for us. Not sure, even if. Not sure we need to even rest. We might as well. Bayborn Forest, so this continues. A fairly sizable adventuring map for us. City. multiple cities. Alain Rich's house. Right, these people mean nothing to me. Maybe we should focus on investigating uh, the. First city first. I'm, I'm guessing they'll send me to do missions elsewhere. We didn't need. Yeah, once we get the orc head, I think we needed to report to city hall here. Noble woman. Church. And that's it. Not exactly a massive city, but a city nonetheless. Right. It seems like the fortress is just a fortress, it's not some kind of massive uh, town network or anything. Well uh, met. I just go through you. Looks like we're adventuring the end of the entire adventure with the light war horse from this point on. Ten gold, fine. So, plan A of just going there and not having any kind of plan didn't work too well. Let's try to use ranged weapons and just overpower them with our superior firepower. Yeah, the horse is really trying to be a problem. I, I don't want to attack it, it's a party member, I have no idea what was the consequences of that. It's also a neutral party, so again, no idea what happens if I just murder it. Well met.
Let's see if they can use range weapons without me pitching the pitching them. They might. They don't have any specific orders not to rely on rage weapons. These idiots are totally incapable of using ranged weapons on their own. They immediately just switch to melee. So, this will not work unless I give specific orders for them to use range, which is pretty unfortunate. I mean, they have zero chance of reaching them uh, through melee, but still, they melee. can't switch. Well met. What do you want? a lot of uh, detailed instructions we can get. Don't want you to close. I don't want you to engage in close range combat at all. Uh, since you are so good with your missile weapons, wait until the enemy gets relatively close. Yeah, you can make a lot of fine changes here. I just want you to fucking use your range weapon in this particular fight, that, that's all. Uh, I need to kill like maybe four enemies anyway. It's not like I'm asking them much. And don't let up. Attack! Once the uh, walls are cleared, that should basically be it. Yeah! Yeah! Certain death comes for you! Yeah. Certain death comes for you! Don't yeah. Attack! Okay, now most of our guys are too stupid to do anything anyway. That's it. I don't care what you shoot, just shoot at something. This is a fight aisle, please. Do not go in a pretty bad shape. And they're blocking my abilities will suffer if I don't get healing. No Sit shit. It. range attack range of the other 
people so much slower, shorter. He's probably attacking Ronan, so Ronan shoots back, right? That makes sense. They weren't quite as easy targets as I thought, but that's something this is the right thing to do. Now that we go in, there's not quite so many of them bothering me. Step with me, come on. Hello. Follow along. Trust your instinct as to when to use a switch between melee and missile weapons. Uh, we'll go with your instincts for now. I'll switch from that if I notice major problems with that. Generally, I do think you should go with well melee. Met. But in a situation like this, it's frustrating that they are totally incapable of doing anything. So I'd rather risk a little bit of problems with weapon switching as long as they could sort of function uh, normally. Cross instinct, right? I just dread taking that option. What do you want? They don't have instincts. That's that's the fucking problem in the first place. Okay, let's see how this works. I I I feel a good choice might be also follow my lead. If I switch to melee, use melee. If I use range, use range. Uh, it would be great in certain situations. Certainly not all, but it would be in a, a different way again to sort of handle big things. I wonder if we can even get inside. Yeah, they're totally incapable of doing anything. Usually they would aid me, but because there's hostiles they did, they can't. It would be so, so fucking simple in almost any other game, just take control of that and open it. But when the AI is in charge, Jesus fucking Christ, the most simple things imaginable are just... <sighs> Okay, can I bash it? Uh, I'll actually use Inferno on it if I can. Right. It'll burn. It doesn't have saving throws, so it should burn. Why does it do 11 points of damage with every strike? It should have 2 to 12 points of damage. Yeah. 
Uh, it's 11 with every. So I guess it gets, de gets determined on the first roll how much damage it's going to take. Ah. Well. Hello, Mr. Orc Captain. Nice meeting you here. I'm gonna put on improved expertise and then I'm gonna rain some lighting on you people. Everyone gets lighting. Free lighting for all. Right, we should be able to get rid of the trash with this. Maybe even one shaman. Uh, the shaman's got us pretty good though. Alright, we're in a bit of a mess. 50% of the group is unable to do anything. Uh, Ma Maggie is sort of probably going to die, but he's keeping the other two alive. I don't think I have enough time to save Maggie's ass. Did. Barely, but I did. Okay, Tiger, feel free to do something, anything. Right, 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 right. We need to get kills. Just need to attack, hope for the best. Give a flying fuck about that. This fucking idiot. It's surrounded by his own guys. He is unable to attack anyone. The biggest problem is the fucking war horse. Jesus. Flying fuckballs. Do something. I can't command it either. It's sort of such. Follows around. Quick and quiet. The station of maggots. him. Fortitude save versus disease success. He has so much fortitude save that he is never gonna be affected by this shit. And now that the or captain is coming our way, we are in deeper shit than previously. Wonderful. Uh, Maggie is the big problem. He's not going to be uh, vulnerable to this um, maggot station crap, and Maggie's pretty much gone. Well, I might be able to keep her in the game, but it's pretty fucking desperate at this point. Or Captain's too good. But what else am I going to do? I can't exactly just leave her to die. He's so close to dying. So close! I don't want to use a full heal. I'd rather let her die and resurrect her. That's a preferable outcome. Yeah. 
change of target. I did I died. Critical hit. Sixty points of damage. I got uh, I got two points res uh, restored by the mm, regeneration. That was close. The game seems to give you a few moments for some kind of healing to land. Right. That's about as close as I've ever had to get with this. Mostly because half of the team was disabled immediately by the orc shamans. And frankly, infestation of maggots is a waste of effort on a opponent like this. Ah, that's pretty much mission complete. Thanks for blocking the fucking horse. Let's have at it. Can't believe I can't get rid of it. Right, there's nothing here, no structure, it's just some probably few loot items. <sighs> Traps, maybe? This must be must be all the loot they've taken from caravans. Must be Entire gemstone. 28 gold pieces. A potion of lore. 57 gold. This is, this is a type of loot that I. that an adventurer lives for. Fox is cunning and 29 gold. So, fucking gigantic waste of time. Mm, this sort of bothers me. Because, yeah, you, you see a lot of effort put into any aspects of the adventure, then okay, this is the loot they've gathered up from the caravans and it's basically a couple of containers of generic loot yay congratulations, you put the minimum possible effort into it And this is the reason why killing is often the main thing about these games. Because the other aspects are, are so unremarkable and disappointing. You either get something from the killing or you or a killing and fighting or you might as well not really bother with it. <sighs> Can I rest here? I'd like to rest, we're in pretty bad shape. And the horse isn't getting all going away. <sighs> okay, the spirit of the light war horse is gonna be with us through the rest of the adventure apparently. Haunting me in my dreams. Uh, right. Okay. If we get them to use their judgment on equipment, they seem to be using or falling back to the equipment we chose for them, but still switching around as necessary. I'd like the standard items to be melee, but ability to switch to range when necessary. Minus 11 health 
Amalis Highway or Fortress. <sighs> that fucking war horse is gonna haunt me through the rest of the game. Simply. It's a reminder for me never to touch the horse riding system ever again. Nothing good will ever come from it. It looks nice and it functions as fine, it's just the actual assignment and how to get people to mount up and like that. It, there's no good commands for that. It's a, it's a very cumbersome system, even at best of times. And with four people and... I suppose my biggest problem is not even the a little bit cumbersome system. I mean, I'm playing the fucking game. This is not exactly a, the best interface in the world. But... And no command for uh, companions. So again, not the best uh, user interface in the world or command system. But it bothers me that... When you're not riding the horses, there's no good way to handle that. They seem to just... They were huge nuisance added to the normal functioning, and I, you can't separately really, at least I don't see how you could command them to just stay the fuck, for, uh, fuck there and not interfere with the normal actions. Anything. But it just, it's because the game didn't initially support any of that, it's added later on. It might work just fine if you have to worry about your horse, but a group of horses and it becomes a mess. Similar with the henchman system. Usually it works fairly well with a single companion. Two, you can get away with. Three, it's starting to be a problem. Even uh, in tight spaces, it's hard to get everyone to do something useful. Well met. Hello. Is there something I can do for you? I have slain the orc leader whose forces were threatening the road to Fairlock. Well, so you have. This is excellent news. I'll send word to the team, sirs, that the way between the cities is safe once more. Here is a reward for your sterling efforts. 750 gold, 750 experience. I certainly wish the experience points and the reward system would be sort of geared toward, well at least the experience system would be geared toward doing this just, but 750, what do we get from the killing the orcs? 55, 55, and it's just 55. Two hundred fifty-five. It's just any group fight will give you more experience or at equal amount of experience than just completing the quest. So there's not much incentive for you to ignore the fighting because you would be throwing away probably like half all the experience you're gonna get with the adventure. So that's that's too high of a price to pay for playing things the smart way. Although, here I don't see what the smart way would have been. I mean, we had to go inside and kill the boss. So, maybe you could have killed the boss, loot it, and get the fuck out. But that's, uh... uh might as well just kill everything. Thank you, Captain. You should go and see Lord Sothsby down the hall. He has some other work for you, if you're interested. I might just do that today. What Sothsby is it? Well, I sort of was planning on moseying down here, so basically if anything interesting comes along, just go and take a look instead of going after a specific mission and coming back. Northern Four Adventuring Shop. Yeah, this is from the original game. Talks about the world of Farron. City of Neverwinter and the people there. Lusken. I don't think that's a thing here. 
Lord Richard Richard Sotsby. Hello there. Yes. What is it? Uh, sorry to trouble you, my lord. I hope I'm not interrupting. Oh, I really must apologize for my brass greeting. It seems like every other minute someone comes through that door with another problem for me. Ah, feeling overwhelmed in your new job, eh? A little. Say, you look familiar. Margaret Fairweather, wasn't it? That's right. Lord Talbot must have mentioned me before he retired. Oh, so you're the one trying to stop those blasted druids down south. It's good that you've shown up just now. I really need your help. Why? Has something changed recently? My sources tell me that the Shadow Druids are preparing to move against the Malice. I'm not sure I believe it, but I can't afford to ignore this either. Well, you can't be too careful these days. Seems like everyone with an agenda is taking advantage of the situation. I'm inclined to agree. Shortly after the army left, we start hearing word that the druids are stirring. The day of prophecy or some such is coming. There's always a prophecy with this religious types, isn't there? Funny how this sort of thing creeps up whenever the authority of the crown vanishes. Indeed. I tell you, I had no idea that so many problems live just beneath the surface of our society. It seemed so peaceful for many years, and yet now the enforcement of the king has been weakened and our neighbors show their true colors. Troubled times, my lord. Troubled times indeed. It would not be so bad if I could convince the remaining garrison in Fairlock of the impending trouble that is brewing. But they steadfastly refuse to release troops from their city duties. Rami here has agreed to help me put a stop to my wayward brethren once and for all. He's an experienced druid and together I'm certain we can defeat them. Just how many are we talking about here? My scouts report at least 30. That doesn't include the animal followers, of course. Now that sounds quite a challenge. For most people, yes, but your reputation precedes you. I know you can help us out, and I have two thousand gold pieces that says you will. That's a handsome sum. Very well, I accept. Smashing. Report back to me when you have finished the job. If you actually manage to stop them, bring me the head of the druid leader as proof of your deed. Also, I want to put it on a pike in front of the city gates. Of course you do. Well, that's very progressive of you, sir. I shall return as soon as I can. You can count on us, sir. Very well. Good luck to you. Well, that sounds like a mission for us. Very treasure, nature's fury. We are fully rested, so... Didn't get that much loot. From the orcs, either. Right, so no point worrying about that. Ugh. Stop blocking me. Anything else, young? Well, I do want to visit the church. I basically want to see my options there. This looks more like a resupply area than anything that has a huge kind of quests for us. So a base of operations when we move to the southern forest. And we might as well. I mean, Maggie is our companion. We need to do her the job anyway. Priestess. Greetings and well met. I see you have returned. Is there something else I can do for you? I have not been here before, but whatever. 
Potions of heal. I'll take them. I'll take them all. Seems like we can buy two from time to time. And even uh, the orc battle was serious enough. Rod of resurrection. Hmm, ten uses. And we have a lot of uh, scrolls of resurrection. Raised dead. Greater amulet of health. Thank you very much. Same as the normal was regeneration. 30,000, 28,091. 28, we could use more healing kits too. I mean, we've used up quite a lot, but we still have a fair amount. I'll buy. Uh, no, I'm not buying anything now. Greetings and well met. Buy a 10 pack. And the price didn't change. Well, whatever. I still need to get this. It, it is fairly useful. I'll switch to it. The extra regeneration alone. Uh, the I don't. But someone probably could use extra regeneration. Natural armor is also nice, but that's not always the best thing. Especially with well, if we go against druids, it might be. Um, I'll give Maggie the greater amulet of health for now. She has a terrible amulet. It'll be much better for her to be protected from everything and have a little bit of regeneration. She's the weakest. No, no, Ronan is the weakest. We'll just have to see how things go. I could give her the Cloak of Cold Resistance, too. I mean, it's not much, but Druids do have cold attacks, and it's better than not having anything. We need to come back here and sell stuff to this place. Probably everything we get from the druids. Cost 30,000 this place. So we'll have to get it back. We are expected to see a lot of summons, fire spells, ice spells. Maybe a few instant deaths, depending on the opponent. Um, I want to see if the, if the station of maggots has any effect on them. However, a death ward might be more preferable. Immunity to instant death. I think the protection from elements would be more useful than coal lightning. Maggie can protect herself, but Ronan and Balena, no. It's just that probably every goddamn druid can uh, do the cold lighting, so I'm gonna be bombarded constantly by that. I think I'll leave things here. Light war horse sounds in the map too. Just fuck. Glowing ball of lights. Maybe there's at least some chance of making a peaceful encounter here. Although if Maggie came to get aid and didn't want to confront them alone, I'm guessing it's gonna end up in a fight. 